What's up, everybody, and welcome to Clown Live! <laughs> it is Sunday, it is 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and uh, we're here, we're doing it. Uh, we got Mima joined with us today. What's up, Beebs? Hi. Glad that you could join us on this pop-up show on Sunday. <clears throat> we got an easy-going show here for you today. We got a bunch of products on the back table that we're going to talk about, some familiar products. We've got some new products on today's show that we've never talked about before. Uh, so I'm excited to unbox those with you. And uh, yeah, if you didn't know, my name is Dragon Blaker. You can call me Blake and you are watching Clown Live. Now, this is an Amazon Live interactive shopping experience presented to you by Shopping Dragons. So with all that out of the way, quiet chat, I think we could just bust right into some yeah. products. Okay, yo, let's start with the first ones then. Do you want me to get them for you? These first ones. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. I just <coughs> okay, so what we're going to take a look at first is going to be the KB Storm. Uh, these are the KB Ear Storm in ear monitors. Now, uh, the ears, headphones that go over your ears, ears, I guess, are headphones. Yeah. And headphones that go in your ears, your earbuds. In Oh, yeah, earbuds is a good word. Yeah. But, like, when it comes to, like, KB Ear, uh, like, these two products that we're going to take a look, we're going to take a look at this one today, too. But when it comes to products like KB Ear, and uh, we don't have it on the shelf today, but Tri Audio, the gold headphones yeah. and stuff, they call the earbuds in-ear monitors. In-ear monitors. Now, breaking down the language, do you think that, an earbud with a wire on it is an earbud or is it does it have to be wireless in order for it to be an earbud and what is the difference so. between an earbud and an in-ear monitor i wonder all right y'all i've had these for over a week i've been waiting to get them in a carousel to talk oh, i wanted to talk about them last yes nails. please yes please <clears throat> Yeah. It's just I, I got nails. It's just it's really tight the Yeah, once you get through it, I'm sure. I guess it came a little ill prepared. I'll just start on the Oops, other sorry. ones right away. Oh yeah, the the bangs do translate through the desk, I guess. Well good packaging on the KB yeah. ear storms. Now yeah, these in-ear monitors, uh, we're going to react to them aesthetically, but now that we have them open, we're going to try them and then talk about them oh, look uh, at on their another color. show. That's really I think cool. we have the black version today. Well, let me just open the plastic yeah, yeah, off of this ahead. one. Get it out. So this is the box for the KB Ear Storm. 
and uh, they come in a couple of different colors. Now I'm pretty sure we got black. Let's let's pop it open here. Oh Ryan, what's up? Much clown love. Thanks for joining. Oh yeah, look at this. Let's see. These are the blacks. Oh nice. Yeah, nice. Oh those are really nice. We should set up another camera on the desk for the desk shot. What do you think? Oh. You know, today okay. it's a Do relaxed to... day. No, it's okay. It's I a relaxed day. I can reach over since I'm closer. If you want to, yeah, that okay. would be helpful. Hold on, let me. It really. The uh, the KB ear headphones are packaged exceptionally well. Uh, okay, so these are the KB ear. These are the K excuse me. The brand is KB ear. The type of e IEMs that we're looking at now. These are the storms, and these are the clear black. These are black. Now I know they're that. They're really nice. Yeah, they're black like with them. no. They're black with no uh, inline controls. But when you click through the carousel today to, to learn go. more about the KB ear head uh, in ear monitors, you'll see that they oh, oh. they offer them with a couple of different types of cables that are there. Excuse me. <clears throat> there are a couple of cables that are available that are different types. So we have here. Um, in this bag, a three and a half millimeter headphone jack to dual pin uh, connection for the for the headphones. Oh, it's like a plastic. Yeah, it's kind of like a braided nice. plate. You want to open them up? Yeah, I like. Pop these. them open. So they're going to come with a little uh, set of black, uh, as well as white or transparent earbuds, the silicone. Okay. okay? So you get different sizes uh, in different colors, and then we can pop this out real easy i'm sure oh, these are really nice okay the kb ear storm in ear monitors that we're looking at now are available today for 18.99 and uh yeah they're they're really nice so this would go into any device that you have any one that's three and a half millimeters okay. so these are made out of plastic they're made out of like a plastic it, it almost feels like a a resin it doesn't feel it doesn't feel um expensive but it doesn't feel oh, so it goes cheap like either. this well we got to make sure oh, that okay. we put them on the right ones yeah, i think yeah, because yeah. uh let's see the 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 cables wrap behind our ears right. right so we have the black cable that doesn't have any inline communication uh but like i said a moment ago when you click through the carousel uh you can get three and a half millimeter jacks you can get USB C connections as well also, you can get them with inline uh, controls as well as in black or brown colorways. So you do get a few different options with the pins. Um, I think it goes, let's see. Well, I see the holes for, they go right into th to these. They slot right into them. You want to put it together? We want to make sure that we put these, yeah, I know. We want to make sure that we put these on the right earbuds so that when we put them on our ears, they... They're in comfortably, yeah. and this rests behind our ear. <clears throat> uh, pretty nice uh, initially looking at them. I like the clear black plastic yeah, that you can yeah. see inside of them. And then what kind of silicone earbuds should we put on? Should we put on black or so, should we put on the white ones? So it's going to go like, like this, right? Well, like we this? can put it on, and then we can do it. Yeah. See, no, I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm just oh, thinking, see, okay, like, see this, this is where you put it inside your ear, right? See how, see so it how it looks. Like this? We're going to put the silicone nozzle on first so that we. Yeah, can, I know, uh, I understand. So that we don't jam them in our ears. Uh, I don't, I don't see them to be marked left or right. Oh, it's like this way, like this. They go up like this, right? Upwards. Wait. Here, I'll let you play with it a little bit more. Okay. Oh, no, the, like uh, oh, James, what's up? Hey, we're taking a look at some new headphones that we got from KB Ear. We had some really nice Tri headphones, uh, Tri Hawaii Bad Boy collaboration. Made a really great set of in-ear monitors that we show on the show here. And uh, so KB Ear is like a sister company. I think it's like Keep Hi-Fi is the brand at the top. And then it branches down into sister companies like Try Audio as well as KB Ear Audio. I think they're at the same level. <clears throat> I've been trying to understand exactly how that works, but uh <clears throat> I don't think this one's on right. Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna let Mima play with these for a moment because I want to open the other ones and play with them myself because I'm really excited to open these next headphones. Um, okay, so the KB 
uh, ear, KB ear, storm in-ear monitors, these little earbuds, are available at an ultra great deal today, I think. Even though full price, a, a really oh, decent deal at 19 bucks. Oh, we got to make sure that we put these little guys on too. Oh, yeah. I was wondering where they were. Should we do black or, or white, do you think? Um, you can pick any one you I want. I can do the black. Okay. All right, so that's the KB Ear Storm available for $19 today with a four and a half star with over 1,700 reviews. So, not too bad. Uh, not too much laying around doing not it. Well, I'm glad you're laying down with me. I'm glad you're laying around with us, Mima and I, here on Clown Live. We did this little pop up stream today. And uh, yeah, Mima likes oh, to. Oh, there's a couple of them. Yeah, you get a bunch of different oh. sizes so that you can have the most comfortable fit with the silicone buds that are included. Yeah. So we dump them out, and then you can make sure that you get the right size for both of them. Well, they, they are there bigger ones, smaller ones? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Small. Yeah, see how they have These different sized big. openings? Look at See how this one is a small fatty? Yeah. So they give you three. Oh, there, there's another there one. In so here's there. a set here, and then here's another set. Well, it'll probably depend, too, on how big your hole is in your ear. Exactly. That's why you get the different sets of silicone earbuds. And that's and they and they should, like, for the most part, easily go onto the nozzle. Mm -hmm. But, you know, silicone sometimes to me can be a tricky little thing. You'll get it. I think you'll get it. And I'm going to move on to the next product now here. And we're going to talk about another KB ear product that I've heard great, great things about. If you love bass in your music and don't mind your highs being clipped out just a little bit, that's like kind of like a big summation of several re reviews I've seen of the product we're talking about now, uh, then I definitely recommend that you consider this new product that we just got. I haven't even heard them yet, but I've heard great things about them. This is going to be the KB Ear Rose Finch. The Rose Finch. Okay, so when we open up the Rose Finch, uh, they're, they're nice, dude. They're nice. They're metal. Oh, yeah, those are nice. <clears throat> I'm not sure what the metal is. I'd have to click through the carousel myself to uh, learn really quick. But, wow, look at that metal finish on these. Oh, Isn't that nice. They look big, too. Yeah, I like the black and the and the metal. They're both really nice. KB Ear Rose Finch, 16 ohms. Are these supposed to just like kind of yeah the, slide yeah uh, in? okay these have a ten millimeter dynamic driver in them and the and the uh, storms the storms have thirty two ohm impedance and the KB ears have sixteen ohm impedance that's pretty cool um, okay uh, it doesn't say I think that once you pick the ones that you want. Don't swap them. Yeah, it's a very. <laughs> well, you don't have you don't have to. Mess I know, with but it. I want to try. And okay, see I got you. I, I got you. Okay, so there. let's talk about the Rose Finch and it's a set and they're aesthetic. Real quick, let me try to shake these out of this box. Uh, I'm real stoked to plug these in and and give them a listen. I do like music with a lot of bass. I know James likes music with a lot of bass as well. Oh, this is really difficult. So look, the Rose Finch. They come with a pack of silicone earbuds. Oh, I got as well. it! I got it! Nice. Oh, nice. good, good. So it's these ones then? The big one. I used the big one. Looks like you used the medium one. Oh, I see. Okay. I guess they're a little bit different. Okay, so look, the Rose Finch. The Rose Finch comes with three sets in the bag as well, but they also come with, uh, with them on, with the little silicone rubbers on as well. Okay, let's pop these plastics out. They're wrapped so nice. The KB ear I'm almost headphones. nervous. I do clean my ears every day. <laughs> How do we push these out without causing damage? I've, do we rip them open? Because I like to try to keep my packages nice, and I don't want to. They just should pop off, shouldn't they? Yeah, I think I might. Oh, there we go. I just had to pop them out. Okay, so this is my left one, and then this is my right one. I know we're kind of moving a little slow on these, but I do like unboxing these. Uh, I've been pretty excited, like I said, about opening them. All right, let's op open this uh, cable. And these are the these KB ear uh, headphones come with exactly it looks like uh, initial reaction with the same type of no uh, nozzle covers, the oh, silicone pieces, as it. well as oh, no. the cable. I think we got, uh, I got it. Oh, we got a brown cable. Look at this. 
Ooh, look yeah. at the brown. It almost looks copper. Yeah. With the black. Oh, yeah. That will look really Oh, nice look at how different it is from the storm cable. Oh, uh, I want this one. Looks, I think because of the color, it looks more thick. Look at the storm cable has like a barrel connector on its three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And then I, I don't even know how you would describe this. Is this a barrel connect? It's much, much less profile uh, than, the, than the storm. Yeah, this is nice. Oh, and this does have uh, controls in it. That's so great. That's so great. Now, these these um, these cables, these headphone cables, they'll swap seamlessly between the two KB Ear products because you can get the different options with them. Okay, let's pop these open. Oh, I got let's, it. Oh, and good. Honestly, I don't have to deal with that part. Like I don't have to deal with that part. Yeah. Okay, so this is left. Oh, I see. On these, they're marked left and right. Where does it show that? Well, on the on the brown cable, it's marked left and right oh. where it plugs into the. But I think this one's left. I think this one's left. So I took it out of the box. Now these cables connect to the headphones. I don't see. It doesn't show anything on okay. these ones. These cables connect to these headphones with uh, with two pins. I feel like I've got to make a better connection. But I don't want to force it. It looks like it's on. Okay, so do these just pop in? So, like, one goes like this? Yeah, my, my ear hair, the hair near my ears makes it difficult to pop in. All right, so I think I don't have this I don't know right. if I'm doing this right. So we want them to stick upwards like this. But the cables aren't going to pop down. I don't think I put these in right. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because it's supposed to go this way, right? I think I'm going to have to watch a quick tutorial about how to install these properly on your head. Because this part goes around your ear. Maybe it's wrong. <laughs> no, this has to be this way. This is the... <laughs> we certainly are spending a lot of time on this. Uh, Chris says, what's up to you? What's up? Oh, I got one in. Okay, good. I got one in. It looks the right way, too, because the writing is the proper way up. So cables on top. Maybe, two. I got big ears. Oh, I got them in. Yeah, they look right. This one looks right. Cool. They feel nice. So look, it goes. They feel comfortable. So it goes this way in your ear. Yeah. Yeah. The earbud, looking at that one. I definitely try these out on my phone or even on my tablet. So they go like... Well, this is... I'm so confused. Okay, so if I want it to look like this, then I want my cable to be like this. Yeah. Yeah. That one's going to go on that side of your ear. Okay, is this marked as left? Yes, it is. Yeah. First, put it around your ear first. I got so much hair behind my ear, and, and my sideburns push back on my <laughs> ears. It makes it feel like I can't push these in properly. I think you got to put yeah, it over. No, that's and, the right way. Yeah. These don't feel too weighted for being having like a oh, metal back. Light, really light. I like <clears> these. I want to hear these rose finches. Okay, so then, so they go in like this. And then, so this plugs like this. Yeah. So this is going to go this way. And then this goes like this. Okay. You got to put it over your ear first. There you go. There you go. Took me a little minute there to get it figured out, but we got it. Yeah. Yo, feel these nice feel and good, yeah. and I feel I find often that when I plug um, silicone buds into my ears, they they, uh, they really isolate noise. These ones feel like they're doing the same, but you know how like you can plug your ears and it, and you really have the sound blocked out. These don't these don't feel like that. Can we keep these, don't these feel in like here that. now that I put them in? Can we keep them on? Part of me. Can we keep these on here? Yeah, absolutely. They're nice. 
All right, so spending a lot of time on getting them installed. Pretty easy once you get it sorted out. Uh, again, I, I really – are these marked brown? No, they're marked black. Okay, so the KB uh, ear Rose Finch headphones, these are supposed to have some really good bass with them. And, uh, oh, we got a little bit of sunlight coming through. I love the metal. And then on the other side, it's got just a, a clear plastic, so you can still see inside the IEM. The nozzles aren't too big, and I put these in and gave my head a good shake. They didn't feel like they were popping out. Now, nope. granted, I had them in here for just a few seconds and didn't uh, do anything other than shake my head. It felt once. really comfortable, I found. Now, this does have an inline voice control, but not a volume control. So it, it just has a phone button uh, on this cable that and a little microphone to allow you to take calls. And, Where is that? Well, you don't get that. Yeah, we don't one. get that on this oh. cable. With the, with the KB Ear Storm, we don't get that with our black cable today. Right. But like I said earlier, whether we're talking about the Storm or whether we're talking about the Rose Finch, when you click through the carousel to learn more, you'll see that you have the ability to pick the color of yeah. cable that you want and whether or not it has that inline volume control. I like these very much and those ones too. Really nice. I'm really, really stoked to get these these like rose it. finches back in my ears and listen to some uh, I'm gonna some them out. music. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll both take a listen to them. Yeah, I'm going to test them out. All right, so today these new products that we're taking a look at, the KB Ear Rose Finch, are available for $16 and have 236 reviews with an average of four stars uh, on that review, right? The answer is right. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, uh, yeah, we, um, yeah. Don't worry about all yeah, that. It's okay. well, it seems complicated. So uh, here, we'll, we'll just get these. Like I think we don't need like these this. plastics, but we'll keep yeah. these ones. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go put. The, I'm gonna go put all this on the table. I was gonna put it all back together. Um. No. Whatever you like. Whatever you like. Oh, There's no, no point to unbox uh, yeah, these yeah, again. Okay. though. that's all I'm saying. Okay, well, maybe take it. Maybe I'm saying take out the headphones and just put the yeah, boxes yeah. away. Okay, I'll put them inside that thing. Uh, okay, because uh, um, all right, so let's keep it moving here. Is there any? Oh, that's just the black cable. Yeah. Oh, okay, I put it all together in there. All right, okay. Now, the next thing that we're going to talk about is this electric adjustable, this electric height adjustable table. Uh, this is the desk that I have right now. Let's open our OBSBOT software and just kind of have like a really kind of easy day. Uh, I don't have a second camera connected today to facilitate. Um, the second camera. I don't have a second camera hooked up today because it's just me and I sitting here. So we're just going to use our controls to move our OBS bot. All right, here we go. All right, so this is the Rad Love desk. This is the desk here. Uh, we're using it. It's in front of me. And uh, it's pretty great. It has four different... Oh, Jennifer Lude. Hey, what's up three minutes ago? Sorry, you know, I Hello. got the chat over here. Let me open up a chat uh, on, my other, on my other monitor. So sorry. I feel like the uh, chat is a little bit quiet today, so I didn't give it the attention it deserves. Let me give some... Let me give some... Uh, let me let me fix that. But the Rad Love Desk, what we're looking at right now is pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, it supports up to 176 pounds up and down movement. And at its lowest setting, which I believe we're at right now, is 27 inches. Um, now, I don't know if that's 27 inches flat on the floor with no legs or anything on it. Because the legs and the wheels that come included are different heights. So I don't know. I think it's from the bottom of the table, not the wheels. Okay, but it has four presets. They're kind of hidden here by my hand uh, that we can go up and down. You can look at the height in inches or centimeters if you want. And uh, it's a really great desk. It comes. The top comes in four pieces, okay? It comes in these two black pieces, uh, one here where Mima's hand and my hand are hovering, as well as two bl uh, brown pieces. You can see the split in the desk here. And then the other black piece, uh, you know, here. I got right it in here. here. Awesome. Thank you so much. <clears throat> um, so the desk is great. I put the Huanuo triple monitor stand on it, and I've currently got two monitors 
Uh, I've got my little monitor here in front of me as well as my big 32-inch TV in landscape mode. I mean in portrait mode, excuse me. And uh, it's been a total game changer. I never had such a big monitor uh, like this before. It's pretty sweet. Mima, she like initially did first. not like it. And then after a couple of days, she like quietly said to me, uh, it's pretty all right. Mm -hmm. It's pretty all right. Something like that. All right. So the desk is cool. It has a motor underneath it that uh, we can't see. Okay. Um, it has a motor underneath it that we can't see today with the only camera that we've got. And... Uh, that motor raises the legs up and down. How far down can we go with this? So these are the legs. These are the legs. They go up and down. And then the motor's on this side. It's on the inside under the desk at the top. And it has a bar that runs across the whole bottom that uh, motorizes the other leg as well. So both of the legs uh, move at the same time. <clears throat> um, okay, let's re reset. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty great desk. Like I said, I'm just kind of uh, thinking how unorthodox it is to not have the other camera hooked up today. But uh, yeah, this is the desk. It comes with legs or wheels, like I said. It supports up to 176 pounds up and down. Comes with this four-piece top. And when you click through the carousel, you can learn about different desktops that come with the Radlov uh, with the Radlov desk. So uh, what I mean by that is when you click through the carousel, you can see that there are different tabletops and they come in at different price, price points. That was That's what I was trying to say. Let me drink some more water here. <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot, eh? It's a lot. We don't have to worry about that okay, anymore. Well, it's okay. It... We're going to move on to the I next. Know. Oh, the... Uh, the Radlove desk is available today for two hundred and four dollars, and this is fifteen percent off. It's traditionally it's traditionally um, two forty today, two oh four. So pretty good. All right, let's do this. And let's grab our next product here. I wanted to put that back in the box. That's okay. We'll the put all this one. stuff over here and take care of okay. it the show. Okay. Oops, oops, oops. All right. This is the next one. You want to talk about this one? Okay. The spork. Let's highlight it in the carousel. The, the stainless steel spork. I like it. Yeah, it's by a company like called Skook, this particular Skook. spork. And it's a it's a five in one. It's really handy. Yeah, it's five in one stainless steel titanium coated multi you food utensil. Yep. Now let's point to the five things. Okay. There's okay. the fork. You get the fork on it. Right there. Yeah, that's one. And it's then, very sharp. <laughs> yeah, and then on the side of the fork, you get the serrated, serrated knife, like to cut through something. Yeah, you want to turn it, turn it around, and yeah. uh, no, no, turn it uh, 180 degrees to show the serrated knife. Yep. Sorry. Ah, there you go. See, so there's the serrated knife. That's number two, and then also, uh, okay, so knife, um, fork. Is also, this... you get the can opener. This is the can opener right down uh, here, uh, or is it I, the top? One? I believe that one's the can opener where the fork is. Yes, okay. And then on the other side, when we flip it over, you got the spoon that's four, and the fifth one is just under the spoon that's the bottle opener. Oh, the bottle, right? Right, so you get the spoon, the bottle opener, the fork, the knife, and the can opener. Oh, I'm not waving, you don't have to uh, track me off. <laughs> I like this so you a get lot. those five things, and then also right next to the serrated knife part of the Skook five in one utility utensil, there's a hole in it that's for a carabiner or a little hook. They yeah, include a little clip. It. You want to show the clip? They it comes with a little clip, so you yeah. don't have to put it in your bag, you can hang it on the outside of your bag. So I use this to eat some food, and here's the thing here's the thing about it. 
Yeah, the fork side has a knife edge on it, yeah. and and also a can opener side. Yeah, so, you just gotta be really careful. Yeah, when I've definitely you're read people showing concern about like hooking their mouth, but yeah, not too many reports. Did you hook your mouth? I uh, I no, but I I when I was using it to eat my food, I realized that this part right here is very sharp, and that this is sharp. So when I went to eat, I was very <laughs> right. Like using my so it seems like common sense prevails yeah, just... and, and lets you understand that you don't really want to be stabbing the inside of your mouth with the scoop but very, five and one. Like pencil. handy to have for lunch. Of... We got four people watching, yo. That's a little increase from the one that we had earlier. <laughs> so thumbs up to the lurkers if you're so inclined. Nice. Please feel free to say hello. It's a Blake and Mima stream today. Kind of like once a month, maybe we get these. And uh, yeah, the skook is pretty sweet. Mima's like used it. it for work. I've used it for just eating purposes around the house. Uh, I went back to the product page to refresh my memory of, about what I could talk about it. And, and when you click through the carousel, you can learn that not only is this available for $7 today, but it is stainless, it is steel and titanium coated. And it, I put it in the dishwasher and it's fine. Like yep. it, it came out okay good i see a lot of i see a lot of sporks that are metal but they're not as tactical as this yeah. this is one piece of metal a lot of the other stuff that i see is like one or two pieces yeah. something unscrews and slides into it and you know yeah uh, I, I i love i want more i want more sporks yeah i like i like having this utensil for just like it's got everything that you need yeah, it's good for a lunch. It's not just uh, yeah. you don't need just to use it for a uh, yeah. for a tap for like some kind of survival. And thing. actually, the girls at work they all they all like they liked it. They're like, "Oh, that's so cool!" And I said, "It's seven bucks on Amazon." <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's right. It is seven dollars on Amazon. And uh, when you consider clicking through the carousel to learn more about the Scoop Five in One utensil uh it comes in the titanium coated that we have here it also comes black coated so you can get black or or metal color uh and for 13 dollars, which is a dollar less if you were to buy two it'd be 14 you can get them in a pack one metal one and one black one with a little cinch sack for 13 dollars. we're gonna have to get another one we're gonna so have to we get another one one do you like the other. black one or do you like the metal one i like the metal one like yeah. i like this one yeah yeah. So then, you know, we both have one. All right. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, cool. So okay. that's the scoop. Very good. And uh, not, now we okay. can talk about the hot pop. Do you mind getting No, it? I don't mind at all. You want to talk about it? Sure. Grab it. The hot pot. The big mat. The big mat. Uh, yeah, I like it. So um, we use it for everything dishes uh, if we have a hot Can you see how much scaling is on well, it oh yeah okay absolutely. so i put it in the dishwasher like it is dishwasher like safe, safe. It... and i think the problem was is that i should have taken it out once it was done and dried it manually because this is how it leaves it with the water you know it's clean it's clean. we got clean water it just is yeah, a little hard it's just a little hard water so i think that for future if you're gonna put this in your dishwasher Take Pull it out, it out and give it a dry. And dry it like manually with like a paper towel. I think a paper towel more so than a, a dishcloth because the paper towel will absorb the water better. But I, I love it. I like it. I have a red one too that I'm using uh, right now. It's not a hot pop one. No, I know, but it's, it's just similar. another silicone mat. Yeah, it's similar. And it's dishwasher safe as well. And you can put hot surfaces, uh, hot stuff on it. That's right. Yeah, let me yeah. expand on some of the things that you're saying, okay? So the silicone mat is good and dishwasher safe, like Mima said. It comes in these dimensions that is 24 by 18. And um, uh, and yeah, it's great. You can put this right on your kitchen table if you wanted to serve hot pots on it. Yep. The silicone is resistant for heat up to 480 degrees Fahrenheit, right? So uh, they make these in a couple of different sizes. I think the 24 by 18 is the biggest one. And uh, like it's big, and I also <laughs> I don't know I, I don't know how that measures that I, it's big. Like I say, I it use is. it. I use I put the dish rack, and I also put sometimes like 
my glasses if I don't have enough room. Just let them dry. Yeah. On top I'll take of this it. and throw it next to the stove and put my hot pot of noodles on it right off the stove. Yeah. And I haven't had any problems with that yet. Yeah. So uh, these are really cool. These are yeah. really cool. And they're available today for... 18 yeah 19 dollars and that's 35 percent off its regular 29 dollars i mean that's still okay price for that oh okay a couple other quick things then about this before we put it back is obviously you, we can see that it's ridged on across the whole thing and the textures are pretty pretty deep the mm -hmm. textures are deep but what is deeper than the textures on the inside of the mat is the outer dot is the outer ridge of the uh, of the mat? The outer ridge is a little bit higher than these. So could you also do it this way? I wouldn't see why not. And like it's if you were a using a hot mat. like pot or you know you, you wanted, you want, I don't know. I just I, I use it whatever. You could use it in any yeah. form that you want. It's the same silicone on the back that it is on the right. front. It's one piece. All right, nineteen dollars for this bad boy today. All right, we're going to talk about the Fantic now. Ooh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like these little vacuums. They come in handy for a lot of things. Yeah, like what? Well, just like picking up small dirt piles, like uh, corners. Small that you, dirt piles? You know, Pound them. Like it's also got this attachment, which stretches a little bit. You know, gives you a little bit of if you need to stretch up in the corner of the a little bit like the ceiling to catch a cobweb. I use these. You got it backwards though. Bud. Oh yeah, sorry. For what the yeah. demos were. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I um use the, this a lot for like. Oh, I did it the wrong way. Um, I use these a lot for like picking up little piles of dirt. Go behind the desk and get all the cobwebs and just like kind of quick tidy, stretch it up a little bit and where I can't reach. Yo, I never read the whole back of this Fantic device. Uh, but I do like these a lot. Yo, these come in black. We got the black one. It <laughs> looks like it also looks. It comes in white, blue, and green as well. Oh yeah, that seems cool. Oh, well, I like the black one. The black with the yellow is very. Um, I know that we are talking about the Fantic brand, obviously, but the yellow and the black is very reminiscent of like DeWalt, right? Yeah. Like a like a DeWalt yeah, yeah. tool. When I see yellow and black, when like I'm just saying because of the brand that DeWalt has built, when I see yellow and black, I think quality. Yeah. Well, yeah, and then you got your filter. Oh, it's really dirty inside of there. I haven't emptied it out, but um, you just like like. That locks it. Yeah. And then you you pull it down and press the button and it opens it. And then you know, you just dump it out. But sometimes yeah. I have to physically like I'm gonna close it right now. Yeah. And yeah. like do this and pull this out to like because sometimes it doesn't fall all of it out. Like the like the hair and whatever won't come out, but you have to like pull this out. And then you can clean the filter as well. Right. So, right. So what Mima, uh, okay. So what Mima is saying is that it is locked to prevent the dust from coming out. It's easy to unlock and open. The dust bin itself is 120 milliliters in capacity. And the way that she twisted it off and revealed where the filter is accessible, we can pull the filter uh, and clean it with the included brush and the shroud for the filter is uh washable so you can wash the shroud mm -hmm. uh, i used the i used the bigger vacuum for a while before it was like not working good yeah. and i didn't understand because we kept dumping it out and i and i thought that that it was clean but it wasn't we had to pull the filter out which one the ufi yeah oh yeah you still we had to pull out. the filter out and knock all the dust off between the shroud and the filter as well that was preventing some suction cup and then uh, you some got suction then you got your attachments that you know i like the little bristle because it cleans it and sticks the dust the dust sticks to the bristle so i mean only you just have to go like this and suck it back in then you got this attachment which i think you can use on like cloth it'll kind of move the the hair balls or whatever if lint anything that you have and then you know it'll go into its chamber but I really like this. I think it's a really good vacuum and 
I think that we'll be taking this with us when we go camping. Yeah. When we use you know, the camper. We're going to, you know, I don't like, I think it's if to clean a vehicle with one of these. You don't have a lot of time with it because it'll. I think you get about twenty minutes of time with but, it. Like to clean a whole vehicle with one of these, I don't think it's ideal. I think it's good if you want to like just do a quick, you know, like you know, a quick clean, a quick clean, but not, not a, a clean. not a deep clean. This is good. Yeah. The Fantic V, uh, the Fantic V8 Mate cordless vacuum is available today for eighty nine ninety nine, and I believe that this does have. A twenty dollar coupon on it, or a twenty percent nice. coupon. So it's it. ninety dollars today, and it has a twenty dollar off coupon for the Fantic V8 Mate. I really like the hose attachment as well. I think uh, this would be a great gift to give to somebody as well, especially today for uh, uh, twenty dollars off ninety for seventy bucks. Not too Sorry. bad. Uh, I like that it comes with that unique uh, nozzle. I don't see that with other handheld vacuums that we have. The Fantic V8 Mate charges via USB-C with an included cable. Uh, also, it features 20 kilopascals of suction and 80,000 RPM brushless motor uh, on this bad and boy. This, and the suction is strong. Like, it's not like it sucks it up. Yeah, and it has two different settings, like basically eco mode yeah. and, and maximum the, and mode. The, I don't know. What, I don't know if Fantic has specific words for those modes. Right. But you got the low and high, basically. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, 90 bucks today with a $20 coupon. Nice. Uh, great deal. Yeah, really good deal. Uh, the Govi Outdoor Strings. Oh, my favorite. I can't, yeah, you want to talk about these ones I can't too? wait ahead. to put them up. Go ahead and I talk just, some I, more about them. I, 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 I like when you talk about the product, and then I like filling in okay. all the specs. Oops, <laughs> my bad. They're just really, they're really cool out when they're uh, like outside already put up. I've seen houses that have similar, maybe they're not Govi the lights. Govi outdoor string lights. But string I've lights. seen people like, you know. With other string lights? Yeah. And I really like, I really like the different colors. I like the way it looks. I like the way they hang. It just makes the outside look so pretty at night. I know. I really want to get like some some uh, some stakes put in the ground, and I really want to do that. Like um, uh, whatever is the closest that I can put them to our neighbor's house, right? And then I'd like to run the whole backyard with this. Now, what yeah, this it is would be really is nice. <laughs> what this is is it's Govi's ninety six feet of outdoor string lights. The bulbs that Mima loves a lot are basically plastic. They're shatterproof. They're IP65 weather resistant. And you get 15 individually addressable bulbs on mm -hmm. two 48 foot lengths of string light in this kit. So when you click through the carousel, they do have a 48 foot length kit. <clears throat> Today for $100, you can get the 96 foot kit and uh and yeah with the 96 foot length we have them on solid green right now but when you connect these to the govi app you can have you can have access to a bunch of different preloaded themes and scenes you can create your own you have the ability to dim the lights as well as have them activate to sound uh in the room so you can create an ambiance uh infinity infinity yeah. ambiance with the Excuse me, with the Gobi 96 foot outdoor string lights. They also have a little controller here. It's kind of like, uh, you want to hold that one up? And uh, yeah, this is IP5 weather resistant. It's just a power button to turn the lights on and off. And then it's connected to the power, which is just kind of dangling there. Uh, and that has no weather resistance, the power cord, okay? So it's, it's a short throw from the weather resistant remote to the non-weather resistant plug. When you download the app, you can join the community if you so desire, and then you can upload your themes and scenes that you've created as well as download other users' content that they've created for the Govi app. It's a pretty robust community from what I understand. I don't spend any time in it. I just want to be forward about that, but I recognize its existence, okay? All right, the Govi lights are available today for 100 bucks. These do go on sale. I don't think that they... I, I don't know if they have a coupon. Let's take a quick look. 
twenty dollar coupon today, so you can get these for eighty bucks. Not too bad. That's really good. Yeah, eighty bucks. We got them for an incredible deal. Yeah. I think uh, during Prime early Prime Access days That's in October, great. I think we got them for around fifty percent off. Yeah. So uh, so definitely uh, definitely not a bad not so a bad come price. Come summertime. Bucks. You can't leave these out over. Yeah, winter that's time. right. Like They're they IP65 like, weather like resistant. Like the bulbs and the controllers IPX5 weather weather resistant. So um, yeah, they have operating temperatures from minus twenty to fifty degrees Celsius, or minus four to one hundred and twenty-two degrees Fahrenheit. So that's the operating temperatures for if these. If we lights. were to put these outside, we'd have to make sure that this is. I would gotcha. say, I would argue that if I put these up, we could leave them up as long as it didn't rain. Right. And then if it rained like once, okay, maybe we should take them down if we know that it's going to be yeah. continually gloomy yeah. uh, and poor weather outside. So they're absolutely something that are not designed to be like permanently installed. Installed, yeah. yeah. I wouldn't permanently install right, them anyway. Right, right, Yeah. Uh, you know, maybe like if you, you know where I would permanently, when I think of these, I think of like in the carport under a carport, yeah. then I would leave them permanently drier installed. Under right. the carport. Yeah. If you had these installed in a garage or a carport right. or under a, uh, a gazebo, whatever, then I probably wouldn't have a problem leaving them mm -hmm. plugged in all the time. Yeah. As long as my plug was dry, good right. to go. Yeah. But the idea that I have for these is that I just want to get a couple of guide posts yeah, I and I want to run them along a whole guide post and have this whole thing. Like just along the back. Uh, yeah, I want to run it. Like I want, this? Yeah, I want to run it. Like basically. this? Kind of? Like a cross? Well, I did want to do some zigzag I ones, but initially, cool. because we only have 96 feet, I'd like to at least do like a whole straight line Yeah. that separates the our yard from, from our neighbor's big, yard. Right, right. So then we would have to get outdoor I think ones. Because this is 96 like, feet. That can stay within the... Yeah, that's the thing. It would have to kind of come down occasionally. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I like the idea of being able to take them up and down as well because uh, they are the only ones that we yeah. have currently. Right. So uh, repurposing them and taking them camping yeah. and using them around the camper... That's pretty sweet. Yeah. And knowing that we have, we're going to talk about it soon. We have the EcoFlow River mm -hmm. 2 portable battery. Uh, so even if we wanted portable light, I've plugged these lights, these 30 LED bulbs I've plugged into my River 2. Yeah. And the River 2 kicks back that you get about 12 hours of light with these oh, bulbs. That's good. Yeah, and they don't just do colors, right? You, like white they and yellow as like, well. So yeah, you can green. have amb ambiance with with different colors, right. or you can also do like a straight like white straight, or a straight yellow, like typical, and just have that typical classic yeah. kind of. I yeah. like the straight white or the yellow because it like just gives that outdoor feel. Like it's yeah, know, it doesn't really... always have to be a party, yeah, but with Gobi, yeah. you can have the satisfaction yeah. knowing yeah. that it can be. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. All right, the Govi lights are available today for $100 with a $20 off coupon. And uh, I'll do the next one, okay? Oh, the eco oh. ah! Stepped on it. Oh, good. <clears throat> oh, pardon me. I feel like every time I approach the desk, I cough before I start speaking. I feel like I'm clearing my throat on you. No. Apologize. No, 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 Apologize for that. that. <laughs> well, let's drink a little bit more water here. If I drink too much water, I'm going to have to go to the washroom. So I'm just sipping my water. <laughs> and uh, let's carry on. Okay. Now, what we're going to talk about here is the EcoFlow camping light. I love this light. Do you love this thing? Yeah. Pretty sweet, you take right? take it around with you like it's like a blanket or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I love It's like lamp. his little, like, you know. A little binky. Yeah, and just his little like how comfort do you item. yeah comfort item. Uh, the EF EcoFlow camping light is pretty sweet, and I think if you had one, you would enjoy it just as much as I do. For sixty eight dollars today, four and a half star rating. Uh, the light features five different light modes that, on a full charge, will last up to eleven hours. The ability to charge in via USB C exists as well as the ability to charge out via a traditional USB port. 
the other day, our EcoFlow, so you want to give a little turn like this? You want to give a little turn like this? Why? Oh, lean, lean it toward me, bud. There, the EcoFlow here right behind Mima. Uh, we didn't have it charged. We didn't have it charged, and the power went out. to lean into you? No, we're good. Okay. Uh, for 12 hours. For 12 hours, the yeah. power was out. Yeah. Uh, Mima opted to go to work where the power existed, <laughs> and I stayed home in the cold, dark house. Uh, that was last Thursday. And, yeah, so the, the EcoFlow River 2, we had it. Uh, uncharged. What a mistake. Yeah, because... for the first time, but now we know oh, we've learned. the next we've time learned. that yeah, we're going to keep absolutely. it charged yep, just that's in right. case. That's right. And the reason that I bring that up is because my River 2 was dead. My phone was dead. Everything that I had in the house was dead, but not the not the <laughs> not EF the EcoFlow <laughs> camping light. The camping light had pretty much a full charge in it. And off that full charge, I was able to completely charge my dead cell phone. Uh, because with no power in the house, I had no internet, my router and my modem were dead and I couldn't connect to, yeah. You know what I just realized? You know what I just realized? That if our power was out, but the internet wasn't out, we could just plug the modem into oh, yeah. the box and the laptop into the box and hardline them. And that would be a two, two plug solution Yeah, and even still. Even still then, talking about it, we could have one cable solution just running the modem into the power bot, into the battery, because this has its own battery. So even if for the concept of emergency communication, yeah. we could still get online by plugging our modem into, uh, into the river too. And I find out here, the power goes out a lot. Yeah, power's Why? gone out a couple it, times. Like so it, I don't know. It's it hard like, to speculate that. It's, it always goes out for like a little bit, and then it comes back on. It like, and there's no bad weather. There's no, you know what I mean. It just like goes out. Yeah. Sometimes. So I'm glad that we have these. I love the camping light a lot. So yeah. when we hit the power button on the camping light, it has a simple one button operation. I've already pressed the button once. I know it's kind of far away, but we have these blue lights to indicate what the battery charge is currently. Currently full. We charged everything last Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, second press turns on the bright white light. Pretty this bright. is that. This is the bright bright white light. Um, Don't look at it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty <laughs> blinding. And then we have the warmer orange light, <clears throat> the softer white light, and then cl close my eyes. The flashlight. Oh, yeah, now that one's light. mad you bright even through see even your my. Face. You can't. No, no dude, my <laughs> eyes are are bl I'm blinded. And my eyes are closed right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, don't open them. And then in conclusion, <laughs> the fifth option here is an SOS, an SOS signal built into the uh, the EF EcoFlow camping light. So you get, five, you get five great light features. And uh, in all the settings, whether it's this bright white setting or any of the other features, you can press and hold the power button for a stepless dimming experience. So the light does get a lot dimmer. Margaret, what's up? Thanks for popping out. It's been quiet in the chat today. Hi, Appreciate seeing you out here. We're just talking about products. Mima's been doing a great job. And uh, what's up, Amazon customers? Great to see you. Oh, what's up, Chris? It's good to see you. Thanks for joining us here today on Clown Live. Uh, yeah, so the stepless dimmer is a pretty sweet design. Um, it has a hook on it. So when we open it, it, yeah, you can hook it onto something. See the hook? And then, uh, and then there's actually two hooks on it. So you can make your hook into a loop. That's pretty sweet. And also on the rear of the camping light, you have two neodymium magnets that allow it to adhere to a solid metal magnetable, uh, magnetic surface. I love the camping light. I love the camping light. Okay. Um, <laughs> when we... Uh, we're going to have a lot of things to take with we turn us the when camp we go camping. <laughs> when we turn the camping light on at night, it turns on its brightest setting. So often, even I just hold it in yeah. the palm of my hand to control its brightness, and that's pretty sweet. Remember that, I love the camping light. Remember that one night you shined it right in my face in the bedroom? <laughs> <That was laughs> From so, across the house. Yeah, I was, I was so all the way blind. in the kitchen. <laughs> that was a solid, that's got to be a solid 10, 20, 30 yeah, feet away. Must have been a solid 25, 30 feet away. I gave her a blast in the middle of the night. <laughs> yeah, it was really bright. I, I was like, Blake! Hey, Stargazer, what's up? Thanks for joining us. 
What is her name? Mima. I'll type it in the chat because everybody gets it wrong. It's okay. M's and N's sound the M's same. M's as in Mary. Mima. I, Mary, Mary, A. <laughs> Albatross. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, Mary, Albatross. Huh? <laughs> All right. The camping light is super dope. It's $68. I love that it saved me. When my River 2 was dead, I still had this like small offering of a battery from from EcoFlow and it charged my phone completely. The the battery is 7200 milliamp hours. Yes. Doesn't it have the case for it? It does have a nice little cinch sack and it charges via a USB-C cable. Both of those are included with a little um with a little uh, short instruction manual. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, very, very, very simple, very easy, guys. Now, I'm not picky about the aesthetic here, but I do like uh, just for aesthetic, it yeah. bears nothing on my opinion. I wish this was branded EcoFlow. I wish the cinch sack was a little less generic. Give me even this fuzzy light gray bag, but put a, put a brand on it of ecoflow i'd like to see that but that means Maybe nothing that means nothing. it doesn't affect the performance of the device at all and one final thing as Did i'm putting it back in this bag yes um as i'm putting it back in the bag know this it is ip65 water resistant so not too bad not too bad uh you can get it a little bit wet uh you don't have to worry about uh, any major damage all right, now, speaking of the River 2, let's pull that bad boy out real quick. What do you know about this thing? Anything? You know anything about this one, buddy? You talking to me? Yeah. Oh. Well, like, who else am I talking to? <laughs> who else do you think I might be speaking to? The chat? Well, I know Maybe that it chat? can charge cell phones and... Yeah. Um... Oh, let's put it on right on top of here. And it, all this area light like gets lit up with like the like how long it's charged for. Yeah, kind of. You want me to talk a little yeah, bit about it? Because I don't know too much about That's it. That's no problem. <laughs> so what we have here is this portable battery. Mima, are you able to lift up this battery yeah. with a single finger? Super light, yeah, super lightweight light. battery, super lightweight battery. The EcoFlow River 2 power battery, uh, portable power station is available today for $239. Let's see if we got a a, a deal on that. $239 with a $30 coupon, so 17% off. Oh, it is regularly $290. Today it's available for $239. Mm. Uh, let me say that one more one more time, okay? It is usually available for two hundred and eighty nine dollars. Today, it's available for two hundred and thirty nine dollars, and it has an additional thirty dollar coupon. So only two hundred and nine dollars today for the River Two. So regularly two ninety today two oh nine. So not too bad. Uh, it's a two hundred and fifty six watt hour portable battery that has a grounded plug, a non grounded plug. Two USB ports, a U, pardon me, a USB C port, as well as an auxiliary power port, uh, which I like to affectionately refer to as the cigarette lighter adapter. I don't even smoke, I'm just old. So it's just like it's durable too, right? It can withstand falling and uh, being tossed. Yeah. Still. You watch that video? Yeah. It's a good video, right? <laughs> like it really sells it, doesn't it? Yeah. The uh, the video meme is talking about does exist. It's a product video created by EcoFlow, and they do what she just said. They kick it downstairs and freeze it in let, ice. Let it put firecracker or the yep. They lit firecrackers, firecrackers off all around off it. Of it. Remember they had the big four six barrel torch and they yeah. like melted it yeah. and it and it worked through every condition yeah. that they put it through. They tied a rope around it and dragged it behind a truck. Still worked just fine. The uh, Mima's right. Mima's right. It does have a display on the front. When we turn it on, we see that we currently have 99 hours. I know, again, this is a little bit far back. Watch that cup, please. Okay, so uh, we have 99 hours available. We have 52 hours now. Just boot it up and, and um, 
just booted up. So we have 94% of battery life remaining in our River 2 currently, which is going to offer us up to 99 hours of runtime on our current draw, which is zero watts, as represented by the number on the bottom of the screen here. Uh, and the number on the top represents the current that is the charge that's going in uh, in watts as well. So you can plug this into the wall at a zero charge with the included cables, which I left on the table over there. Um, um, you get, uh, you can plug it in the wall and charge it from zero to a hundred percent in under an hour. That's pretty great. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's up rising sun? Um, she said, hello. Hi, Mima. Hello. And she spelled Mima M E M A. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I'm so used to it. It I doesn't know. even bother me. It's fine. I know. I know. The I, just... I doesn't, the I sounds like an E. I understand. I get it. Yeah, I guess so. You're right. Uh, the EF EcoFlow portable battery is a 256 watt hour portable battery that, like I said, from a 0% to 100% uh, charge takes less than an hour. It takes They advertise it as an hour. I've always done it in under an hour. Oh, it's okay, Rising Sun. I just, uh, we, I always like to have great fun at the That's way people okay. spell Nima's name. <laughs> You can plug this in the wall, charge it in under an hour. It also comes with a cable that you can plug it into your car's auxiliary power port and charge it in about four hours, I think, when you have it plugged into uh, to your car. Also, you can plug this into a 110-volt solar panel that is also available when you click through the carousel today. All right? I think that, I think, uh, I think the 110-volt panel is like 300 bucks. Yeah, yeah that's right, Chris. Uh, okay, so 17% off for $239 plus a $30 coupon today. You can't go wrong with the with a with a battery backup station uh that you can lift with one hand and charge your phone more than 10 times. Easy. And this light that's shining right now, remember that one night? It's I a go, bright it's, oh my god, it lit up the whole living room from the bedroom. I mean it, I was like, Blake, what what is left on? Mim is absolutely right. The front fade, the 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 light that is thrown off of the front of the river too when it's on is definitely noticeable. But uh, just to like just to downplay it just a little bit, it's not like illuminating no, the no, entire no, no. room. But, you, but when you're you, trying to sleep, you know that, that light it's when it's going, on, you know that yeah, it's on. Yeah, yeah that's it's right. It's not right. bright, bright, but it, you know that there is something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, totally. Uh, this is the this is the River Two. It's available today for two thirty nine. Like I said a couple times, I've been really digging it. I wish I would have had it together for That's the okay. power outage that we had last Thursday when our power went out for twelve hours. Okay, this could have been useful for a little bit of light in the evening yep. or to feel the confidence that I could charge my phone because I was. I wasn't panicked. It was not an emergency situation, but my phone was dead. I had no way to contact my mom. The power was out all across the entire yeah. town. Uh, we had like poor weather. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so just knowing that I had that camping light to charge the phone was so great. But having the River <laughs> 2 is also phenomenal, knowing that we can pretty much power almost anything that we want. Yeah. Like, especially, especially in the concept of like... Um, like a real emergency. Yeah. Now I don't have a battery that's going to run my fridge or run my AC, nothing like that. But if I need to get a hold of somebody yeah. in an emergency and everything's dead, leaving this place is not an option. I know that I could at least plug my modem into this yeah. and hardline my modem to my laptop. Uh, easy, mm -hmm. easy. Yeah. And plug some lights into it mm -hmm. all at the same time. Yeah. All right. Enough of that. The River 2, like I said, is available for $239 today with a $30 coupon. All right. Now let's talk. I'll talk about this one too, because this is my favorite. My favorite headset. Excuse me. Sorry. How are you feeling, Boot? I'm okay. Yeah, you having a good show? So far, good. I'm having a good show with you. I'm glad we got to do this together.
Such a big box for. I mean, oh, yeah, I guess it's a. Box a down I guess it's a big. Uh, it's a big headset. So. Boom. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's pop this one up mm -hmm. here. All right. So let's take a talk. Let's take a walk down let's talk let's lane. Take talk. Let's take a talk down talky lane. Okay. And uh, we're going to chat about this now. The EPOS limited edition gaming bundle featuring the H6 Pro and the GSX 300. Okay. Now, what is the H6 Pro? Well, it's this. It's a pair of headphones. These headphones are pretty great. They're my favorite headphones. I've owned several headphones and in-ear monitors and all kinds of stuff that lets me listen to things. These are the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my head. Hands down. Can't hear you, but what's that? Did you fall asleep with them on? I can sleep with these. They don't make my ears hot. They have a big enough ear cup that it that it swallows my entire ear without pressing on it. I don't have any of that bending, nothing ear, like that. Yeah. Just feels good. Put these on. They have like kind of like a velvety kind of cup, not like a plasticky cup. And I just like, they don't. They don't seem to be looking like they're degrading. They don't seem to be like showing that I've put them on my hair a bunch of times. They don't seem to be fraying. Yeah. I've used these for close to a year. Mm -hmm. Close to a year I've used these. Best headphones. Now they look a little navy blue. Kind of hard to see perhaps. But uh, they do refer to this colorway as Sebring Black. The H6 Pros are phenomenal headphones. They come with a cable that you can plug into the cup. That goes out to a three and a half millimeter jack. Also with the uh, GSX 300 external sound card, it comes with the dual cable. So on the back of the sound card, we'll get more into this in a minute. You can plug the headphones uh, right into this uh, sound card. Okay. I plug mine into my Yeti microphone because my Yeti has a long cable and it gives me the maximum distance that I can obtain uh, while still being tethered to an audio device. <clears throat> the limited edition gaming bundle is available today for $200 and has a four star rating with 71 reviews. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet. The H6 Pros don't come in different options with the limited edition gaming bundle, but H6 Pro does come in a couple of different colorways as well. Oh, I want to show you another feature as well as um, they are offered in an open, in an open form. So they, uh, these are the closed. They don't allow ambient audio to enter, but the open does. Let me pop these back on real quick and show you that, uh, on the left side, I just have a little textured disc mm -hmm. here that I can press and remove. It's held in with a magnet super easily and then pop in the attached microphone just the same way. It's easy to put the mic on. The mic does go up, and when you push it up, it does click to mute off. There are no inline volume controls with the um, with the H6 Pro. Okay, whether it's with the three and a half millimeter jack or the uh, the cable that connects it to the GSX 300. All right. Okay. Uh, so yeah, and then super easy to put that disc on. It's really just a magnet that holds it in place. Super easy. Okay. Um, now, the H6 Pro comes with this external sound card. Now, why would you even need an external sound card? Well, if you're just using like an older computer or your motherboard uh, headphone jack just isn't cutting it uh, in regard to sound, the EPOS GSX 300 external sound card is definitely an option worth considering, especially in this affordable $200 epos limited edition gaming bundle it's a very very simple straightforward device it has a button that allows you to switch between modes whether it's 7.1 surround sound or stereo or a custom equalizer setting that you've created yourself you can do that with the software that's downloadable for free from the epos website excuse me and uh yeah oh the front like i said button to swap to switch and then a giant volume knob that's the whole thing on the back you get two audio jacks one for microphone one for headphone as well as usb for power and data uh that's pretty much it if you got like a if this just enhances your sound uh capabilities instead of using the port on your on your motherboard right uh and that is 
including, like I said a moment ago, a setting for a simulated 7.1 surround sound experience. So, um, I mean, arguably, you could plug any set of headphones that you want into the back of this, uh, whether it's just the headphone or headphone microphone combo, and simulate that 7.1 surround uh, option on any set of headphones, whether they're IEMs or EPOS branded or not. <clears throat> That's it. EPOS Audio Limited Edition Gaming Bundle featuring the H6 Pro closed and the GSX 300 is available today for $199. Let's see if there's any coupons on that bad boy. No dice. 200 bucks today. All right. Let's close some of this stuff. And then let's keep it moving. Let's talk about another product in our carousel. It's going to be the Fantic Cordless Drill. Did you get to use the drill to do anything yet? We didn't. We use it to tighten the. Oh, that's right. We didn't. And use it got it on loose the show. again. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah. It must be something to do with the. I pan. think. Yeah, I think it's because it's older. You get some Loctite on that bad boy. And I think it's. Just, I think it's just old. Okay, let's pop these things down, and then we're going to talk about Fantic now. You know anything about this? Do you remember anything about this? Um, not really. <laughs> <laughs> the Fantic cordless drill that we're going to take a look at now, this is the model Nex L1 Pro, and it's available today for $70. Hey, what's up, Lady Blaken? <laughs> Lady Blaken? What's up, Lady Bacon? Thanks for popping out and saying clown love. Much clown love to you. And that's for both Blake and Mima. Hello. And guess what? Spelled Mima correctly. Oh, that's okay. I don't care. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Lady Bacon, for joining us. We just pulled off the shelf the Fantic Nex L1 Pro cordless screwdriver. And I think that if you're looking for a screwdriver, a cordless drill, this might be one that is, again, like I often say, uh, worth considering. Worth considering this. Okay. So Didn't we open it, it like this. Open? Yep. It just pops open. Here it is, kind of down here at the bottom of the screen. And uh, it comes with a, a couple of bits. It comes with a USB-C charging cable as well as some extensions. But the real deal here is the drill itself. It comes. I don't know if it comes in different colors, but uh, I've got a gray model. I've got the gray model or black. I, I think it's gray. That's great. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the Fantic Nex L1 Pro. It's pretty cool. I like the shape. It's very, like, um, it's very non-industrial looking, right? Very non-industrial looking. Pleasure, pleasurable to look at aesthetically uh, for your home yep. use instead yep. of a giant rigid right like an industrial basically the opposite of this <laughs> uh it does have the logo excuse me it does have the company name and the model number on it uh and the grip is nice yeah like a, it's very the little light. gray pieces yeah it's very light that's really easy to use as well. When Mima pulls the trigger, you'll see that the light does come on at the front. So it always illuminates the area that you want to work in, which is pretty sweet. And then, uh, yeah, it's got buttons on it as well. You want to hold it up a little bit, sure. Drew? So the buttons on it are really, really easy to use. You can press the top button and uh, and then that's going to cycle through. It's going to cycle through different... There we go. It's going to cycle through different torque settings when you press that button from one to six. You can, yeah, well, yeah. I didn't, and you know what? I've never pressed and held it before to see that it, it would cycle through fast. the number. Yeah, yeah. I didn't realize that it would cycle through the there numbers so quickly like that. But yeah, so six different torque settings, and you get it on a very easy to read large display on the next L1 Pro by Fantic. Now the other button is going to be the button that dictates whether you're going forward with your screw or oh, coming back okay. with it, right? So very, very easy two button design, Ooh. simple to operate and understand the screen. And then putting the bits in is also super easy. The chuck is kind of flush. The chuck is flush. I know we're far back. The chuck is flush. When we put the bit in, it's drawn in with the magnet. When we push the bit in, it locks into place and you can see that clicked. the collar did pop down a little bit. Now that bit is locked in place and it's not going to come out. And you don't have to worry about losing. You don't have to worry about losing your bit. That's right. And when it's time to pull the bit out, it's very easy. You just grip the, the, the chuck and pull it up and it loosens the grip on the bit and you can pull it out. 
but it still remains like magnetized in there until you want to pull it out. So I really, really like that your bits are secure when you put it in the chuck, whether that chuck is in or out, whether, whether it's locked or not. And that simple to read display, you never have to worry about mm -hmm. which way am I going? Yeah, which way am right. I going? You just give a little pull, okay. you know Tells what, you. you know what direction. I'm just going to run through the <laughs> no problem. <clears throat> um, watch your step, okay, yeah. with the cords. Do you need any assistance? Careful, booty. Uh, okay, the uh, the Fantic cordless screwdriver. It has basically one speed as well. Uh, it doesn't have one speed. It has varying speed based on how you uh, pull, how far you pull the trigger in. Not bad. Uh, $70 today, regularly 80 bucks. So that's a 13% saving. Let's see if they got any coupons on this bad boy today. Uh, $10 coupons. So 59, 60 bucks today, uh, 60 bucks today. And it comes in a couple of different colors. I see yellow, black. Uh, I see green, which looks pretty cool. And a really dark navy blue. And they all seem to be having the same price with the same Ten dollar off coupon, great, awesome. So if you're looking for a really nice cordless screwdriver or a cordless drill, I definitely recommend this. Those six different torque settings. I watched a video. It goes from putting a, a screw into a two by four, just a little bit, and then stopping to on the sixth setting of torque, it was driving the screw like below the surface of the wood. So a very very powerful, um, a very powerful drill you get as well with the Fantic Nex L1 Pro. Let me take a look at the box and see if there's anything that I haven't said about it, but I'm pretty sure I nailed it. 3.6 volt cordless drill, USB-C charging, stepless speed changing with a shark chuck, a 2000 milliamp hour battery with a rare earth motor. All right, so that's the next L1 Pro. Now let's talk about the pluggable. Here, we'll leave this on the table for now while we get over to this software and pop down our camera. All right. Uh, okay, let's take a look at this pluggable device. We've got it right here in frame. Let me pop these things back over here. Yeah. And what did I just say? Pluggable. All right, so this is the pluggable dual monitor docking station. It's the USB 3.0 dual monitor docking station. This is it right here. I use this thing every single day. It's a permanent addition to my current battle station, and I just genuinely couldn't run the, run what I do the way that I do without this. So on the front of the pluggable, you have two USB 3.0 ports, as well as a headphone and a microphone jack. And then on the rear, you have four USB 2.0 ports. Okay. You have four USB 2.0 ports, an Ethernet port, DVI out, HDMI out with your display port and, and power to charge the device okay it's a really 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 useful device for me uh i stay using it every day now i did have some problems with the hdmi out when i had it plugged into this giant tv here that uh that i use as a monitor okay this giant 32 inch tv boy here runs all the way all the way down had some overscan issues when I had the pluggable connected to the TV. I just said, you know what? I'm going to plug it into the laptop, the television, and I haven't had a problem with it since. So uh, in regard to overscan options, I don't know. But any other thing that I threw at it, like whether I had the pluggable plugged into my 4K TV or whether I had that plugged into like um, a DVI reducing uh, 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 plug, uh, adapter i wanted to say it didn't matter everything worked really well i just had one problem with one television that was made in like 2009 you know what i'm saying so uh so yeah i just want to say that i'm very very i'm very um excuse me i'm extremely satisfied i need more water i am extremely satisfied with my pluggable docking station i recognize that i would like to expand my 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 
my battle station. And so I think that I need to, uh, I think that I might look into more pluggable docking stations at a later time. I'd like to put like more monitors up on the battle station. And I know that pluggable makes some triple monitor setups. So I'm kind of like trying to figure that out. But uh, at this time, I feel like I've been pretty satisfied with what I got. Oh, Stargazer says, we're going to get tornadoes too, but now it's too cold. Top of Tornado Alley. Uh, we get tornadoes too, but now it's too cold. Top of Tornado Alley. We've had an exceptionally mild winter here. We just and had a freezing rain. Yeah, we had, yeah, that's right. And then it froze ice around the... Uh, it froze ice around thin branches thicker than my thumb, and the branches were snapping all over the place. I still have branches that uh, the maintenance people that come and take care of the yard have not had an opportunity to get. But granted, it's been a very big job, so uh, you know it's still the weekend technically. We'll see what happens by you know. I think after a week mm -hmm. should be in maybe kind of. Yo, I got a branch. Can you come get it off my yeah. shed? They're right. probably trying to do all the bigger... There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of yeah. stuff. The dual monitor docking station is dope, okay? And it's available today for $119 and has a four and a half star rating with just over 11,000 reviews. Uh, I've been talking about this since it was at 10,995 reviews. Now it's at 11,017. And I just remember that because it's a unique number. Uh, traditionally, the average retail value for this device is 165 today 119 do we get any coupons with that bad boy let's find out no coupons today only 28 percent off which is still a pretty significant deal uh we had snow ice storms every thursday for weeks you can have a fire we can have a fire in regard I mean, to it i mean we could with the broken oh you could have a branches. fire with the broken branches well yes we yeah you we could have a fire but the thing is is that the branches are quite significant yeah the branches are quite okay. significant and um it would take some of them are time. bigger than my leg and like yeah. twice as long as my body so and they're like fan off branches like they fan off like it's huge branches not a few mm -hmm. twigs a lot of it is twiggy material. Unless if you were to cut them, like well, that's the down, thing. I don't right? have a chainsaw yeah. to cut, and that's why we're waiting for the maintenance people to right. come and clean it up for us. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, uh, a lot of the branches that broke in the trees that didn't fall, but are touching the ground, are just broken and not snapped. Right. So we're gonna have to. Uh, hopefully, they do that job where yeah. they're gonna come and cut oh, those sure out as well. Will. Uh, so yeah, so that's where I'm at with the tree. Yeah. Good idea to have a fire, but I don't have a chainsaw to process the wood and it's very wet. So it wouldn't burn right now. Mm -hmm. Right now it wouldn't burn. I understand you got to let it dry. Um, did you get one of those mini chainsaws? Uh, no, I don't have a mini chainsaw. Are you talking about snow Joe stuff? Uh, I wish snow Joe would come back. I miss it a lot. I miss, I miss, I miss Eddie and, uh, he sounds like a little sad boy. <laughs> I miss Eddie. I wish Snow <laughs> Joe would come back and talk about mini chainsaws and snow blowers and ice scrapers for your car. And Eddie was dope. I, I wish that I wish Snow Joe channel would come back. But yeah, no, I uh, just like um, I never made the purchase. I never made the purchase for those products. And during the generous, generous giveaway era of uh, Amazon Live, I was unable to have such luck on an Eddie stream. So the only Snow Joe product is one that I actually bought, and it was like a $20 um, uh, snow scraper. And it's got like the big foam thing on it. I'm sure you've seen me talk about it on yeah. the show uh, before, Stargazer. So that when we had those snow, that one snowstorm, you went out like four or five times. <laughs> To go clean the vehicles, all the snow off the vehicles. I cleaned everybody's vehicles yeah. in the parking lot. That's right. <laughs> what do you know about this one, Boot? Anything? It's not something oh, we talk about. Oh, it's the projector one? Yeah, no, this is like the, the Aurora Star the... projector. Yeah. Ooh. It's following you now, bud. <laughs> Here, we'll reset it. We got you. <laughs> uh, yeah, this one shines different patterns of light and... On the ceiling. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's got this big like it's got, uh, buttons. it's got this big dome. Oh yeah, sorry. It's got this big dome on the front. This is the Rosetta Star projector. It's a basically a northern light kind of light projector. It's got this big dome on it that diffuses and reflects light, refracts light onto your ceiling. And uh, it looks like the northern lights. And it's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. It comes with this infrared remote control that allows you to control the RGB and W. So you really get an opportunity to like uh, seek like the aesthetic that you please. I love using the word aesthetic uh, because uh, it is the best word to describe what we got going on with the Rosetta Starlight right now. Now, not only can you can control, not only are you able to control all of the different colors, but with the remote control, you can also set a timer. The Rosetta Star projector has a Bluetooth speaker built into it, so you can pair a device to it and play audio through it. I never did that, mm -hmm. but I probably just straight up ain't impressed with something that weighs less than a pound yeah. and uh, has a speaker in it. It probably don't. The <laughs> look, I'm just being real. I never used it. Yeah. The speaker, I don't know about the speaker. I don't know about it, well, we gotta but I know it that it's doing. We got to try it out. I wonder if it's like a tinny kind of sounding speaker. I don't know. But don't let me, try. don't let me, uh, don't let me fooling around on the speaker in the Rosetta Star projector in any way um, deter you from how beautiful yeah, the really light cool looks thing. on the ceiling. Yeah. The light looks really, really great. And not only does it do that Aurora light, but it also offers like a star pattern in the form of a diffused like green laser light or like i don't know if it's diffused but the laser light speckles green on your ceiling uh in conjunction with the aurora light now i'm not a big fan of the green light i wish that we could have like white stars mm -hmm. or change the colors of the stars but not with this green laser <clears throat> so generally for my enjoyment i keep the green laser off yeah you can charge this by plugging it into a usb it, it charges via usb-c and on the opposite side, you just have uh, some control buttons. Now, this isn't off kilter. It's not. It's 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 not level on purpose. I was right? gonna say I, it's not level on purpose, so that we can. I I was just gonna say this end looks a little higher than. Yeah. Uh, you get somewhat functional controls out of the side of the Rosetta Star projector, but truly the star of the show here, uh, beyond the light show, is the remote for full functionality. And uh, that's it. That's it. That's a pretty cool projector. Everyone is getting a thinner Christmas this year with no giveaways. I gave away all my winnings for Christmas. Uh, Stargazer, I didn't get a gift. <laughs> Blake. <laughs> okay. All right. Enough here. Um, game clips. Uh, reset. Let's reset our options here. Okay. Sorry. This is just this is pretty funny. All right. The star projector, though, it is available today. It's a very hot seller with over with almost thirteen thousand reviews and a four and a half star average rating. The Rosetta Star Projector can be yours today for forty dollars. Heads up on this amazing deal. It's 33% off. So traditionally 60 bucks today, 40 bucks, save 20 bucks. Now what do we have here? I got so many shortcuts that do so many things that I don't want them to do. <laughs> there we go. Uh, okay, so that's the star projector. All right, yo, has your niece said anything to you further about the alarm clock? Uh, I, no, but I haven't asked her either. Maybe I will the next time I yeah, see her. Yeah, I don't know if she's using it. Yeah. I thought that she was enjoying it. Well, I don't know. I have not asked her yet. Just kind of slipped my mind when I... Well, I do say on the show that we gifted it I'm to sure the niece. That, I'm sure she does. I'm sure she does use it. What is I that see, we're I, about? I, I've seen it in her room already on her table, so I I assume that she is using it. Oh, that's awesome. It, by the way, is the Tribit Home Wireless Home Speaker. This is it right here on the box. Uh, this is really cool. It's got fiber in the front, uh, fabric in the front, fabric on the rear, and it is, uh, it's diffused with a piece of plastic in the middle, right? You want to show all the parts? It's got the fabric on the front and the back, like I said. It has this white plastic strip that separates them, and this diffused piece of 
plastic yeah, is uh, good for the light show that is built into the trip at home wireless home speaker okay it's, it, a, little uh, heavy thing. it's a little bit heavy it's got a powered yeah. speaker in it uh and there's five different ways to connect audio to this okay it's bluetooth compatible it has on the back on the very back we have the memory card slot oh i guess they can't see it unless i go up so there's the memory card slot and the audio in jack the three and a half millimeter audio in jack in the center that also acts as the fm antenna receiver and then that's three bluetooth memory card right fm here. bluetooth memory card the fm the audio in and then oh and then um you have your output and your uh, output uh, output slot they're both outputs oh okay so for audio on the device, so for audio in on the device, okay, it's Bluetooth to connect, micro SD card, three and a half millimeter audio in jack, as well as an FM re antenna receiver that jack doubles as. There's FM radio in here. And then built-in noises, built-in noises, okay? So I like the Tribit. It's really, really loud. I, every time I look at the Tribit, I just look at it and I think, man, I wish that just like everything else in, in the world – has its standard i wish that um audio i wish that audio would come in a decibel standard so that we could just talk about it like we talk about mm -hmm. temperature but that's not the case so the trip at home wireless home speaker goes up to 16 in volume but it's very very loud and it rumbles in your hand when you when you're holding it up which is not like it's not designed to be held and it's it's yeah. wireless in the sense that you can connect to it via Bluetooth, but there is an AC power cable that is included in the box, and it does have to be plugged into the wall in order to receive power. It's not a battery-operated device. It's regularly $70, but today it's 24% off. Can you see that? Yeah. What does it say? $52.99. Yeah, $53 today for the Tribit Wireless Home Speaker. Yeah, we'll have to get a little update from the yeah, news and see what's I going will. on. All right, what's the next product? I'll check. My knees sore. <laughs> uh, oh, we're in the trivet block. Okay. All right, what do you know about this one? Why don't you say these things? <clears throat> All right, this is the Tribit Stormbox Micro, and it's a little portable USB-C charging uh, Bluetooth speaker that has two speakers in it, and uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. What else does it got? What other features? It's IP67 waterproof. Oh, you could put it in the shower. Yeah, uh, Bluetooth 5.0. Bluetooth 5.0 compatible. That's good. You know, the Bluetooth 5.0 compatibility uh, from your source, from your Bluetooth source, you can probably stretch out up to 40 meters uh, compared to the standard like 10 meter kind of range on previous Bluetooth. Um, uh, so this can go in the water? Yeah. I'm going to try it out next time. You're going to use it in the shower? I <laughs> think next time I yeah, have for one, sure. yeah. So what's probably cool about tonight. it for the shower is it has this little silicone strip on the yeah. bottom of it. And we can peel this back. Oh, maybe on the other side, my bad. We can peel this back uh -huh. and then it's just wraps around the bar in the shower. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see, I see. And then it holds in really good in place. It also has little rubber booty. Not only does it have that strap, but it also has little rubber booties that hold it, you know, pretty, yeah. pretty, pretty good. It's not going to be vibrating on the table yeah. with these little rubber booties. Yeah. What else does it say? It's long battery life. Don't know how long. Uh, superior sound and stereo party. Stereo party. Yeah, there's two speakers in this. So this is a really, really compact. I mean, it's not the most compact. I've seen smaller Bluetooth speakers. It's about the size of the palm of my hand, uh, but it's not too heavy. Yeah, no, it's, okay. it's got fabric on the front of it and on the top. Can, like, you know, take it to a party and have it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Take it wherever you want. Now, it, this is considered the front of the device. And on the front, you have a power button as well as a Bluetooth pairing button. And when we turn the power on... Uh, you do have a little battery monitor there as well, okay? Uh, you have volume up and down buttons on the top as well as a multifunction button sandwiched between them. Tribit 
Stormbox Micro is available today for $50, and that's 17% off of its $60 average retail value. Pretty simple. Oh, and it has four and a half star review with just under 5,000 reviews. So, you know, when something's four and a half stars and 5,000 people are saying Good. that, yeah. Okay, let's keep it moving here now, and we're going to talk next about our last Tribit product today. It's heavy. I think that's the heaviest speaker other than the the Sony, the big one that is in the back of the house. I just said it's heavy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I agree with you. It oh certainly is heavy here. I'm going to pop this on yeah. the table. You can't lift this up with your can't really. Pinky. Okay, that's about where you we can't lift it up with your pinky. <laughs> uh, okay. It definitely feels a little Wait, bit. Uh, yourself. Uh, it definitely feels heavier no. than the um, than the uh, River Flow Two. That's for sure. Okay, the Trivet Stormbox Blast is exactly this device that I'm holding in my hands right now. It is a 90 watt IP67 water resistant passive base radiating Bluetooth speaker. It has a beautiful as two options for light shows uh, that you can access by pressing the light show button on the device itself uh, or you can toggle them within the app and they're bright those lights at night. the light the lights are really bright, bright and I don't know if there's a dim for the brightness when you turn um, the volume up it really brightens up <laughs> I'll have to open my Tribit app and find out if I can if I can dim these lights. Uh, really high quality plastic body. I've seen a, a video of this get pulled apart and it just is really, really high quality material and very well sealed. Not only does it have the two drivers on the front with a couple of tweeters, but also it does have those passive base radiating speakers on the sides that only move when your drivers move. There's an extra bass button that you can press to toggle extra bass. And with the Tribit app, you can um, adjust your equalizer and adjust your light show. On the rear of the Tribit Stormbox Blast, there is a little rubber gasket here that when we open it, allows you to charge your device, uh, charge your device as well as ch uh, charge out via USB-C. And it also features a three and a half millimeter audio jack that acts as an auxiliary in. So even if you don't have a Bluetooth device, you can still connect something to the Tribit Stormbox Blast. This is currently my favorite. Mm -hmm. um, this is currently my favorite uh, Bluetooth speaker. Um, I use this connected to my PC and I use it as my PC speaker. Yeah. So I use this every single day. And with 30 hours of battery life on it, uh, sometimes I forget that I even have to plug it in. I can go days with using this mm -hmm. and not have a problem with it. The other day, it said battery low. And I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to push it. I'm just going to push it. And I ended up essentially getting like another entire day out of it, I yeah. feel like. Yeah. Several hours of That's use good. I got out of it after it said battery low. It's really good. Yeah, I like it a lot. It's really heavy, though, like you said. Oh, yeah. The Tribit Stormbox Blast is available today for $200, and it's at something percent off of its average retail value of something. And uh, I'm going to come back and click through the carousel and see if, uh, if there's a, a coupon. But it's $199 today. It's regularly $260, so heads up on a 23% off deal. And... $40 coupon. So this is only $160 today. And that is, um, that is, uh, that's $20 less than the cost of a full price Soundcore Motion Boom Plus, for example. So it's a really great deal on a speaker that uh, is louder than, than some anchor speakers that we have here in the house. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got to grab another product. <laughs> uh, with a five-star rating and 641 reviews, the, tri the Tribit Stormbox Blast is available today for $200 with a $40 off coupon. Uh, and it's also 23% off. Oh, we still got a few more products to go through. Oh, I thought we were done. No, we still got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven products to go. Seven products to go. Uh, we can talk a little bit faster about some products. Have you been using the scale at all? Yes, Blake. You have been? I don't use it every day. I use it almost every single I day. I don't want to, like, 
I just, it's, there's no point in going on it every day. <clears throat> this is the wise body scale. Didn't wipe it off for today's show, but we got it right here. And uh, this is a really thin, okay, body scale that has an IPO coated glass. And this has, uh, this wise Bluetooth compatible body scale takes a bunch of different measurements that you can see with the app uh, that is free. But you don't need an app to operate this. But if you want all those extra features, you get the app. It is a free app. The body scale is available today for $35. And uh, it's IPO coated glass. When I stand on it, it tells me my weight. And then it tells me my heart rate. It'll also tell me my BMI. And it's just a seamless flash of uh, information uh, across the screen. When I stand on this, uh, if... Uh, if I, if I stand on this and then get and it and the app tracks my weight, when I get off of this and Mima stands on it, like immediately after me, if I'm holding my app, they'll be like, oh, uh, different weight. You're not Blake. This mm -hmm. is a different weight. So you can set up different, um, uh, not accounts, but profiles to monitor trends in your weight uh, as well as your BMI and whatever. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of great features that you can get with the wise scale and you can learn more by clicking through the carousel today uh, when and add this to your cart. I definitely encourage you to add this to your cart. I've never seen a, a, a digital body scale with this amount of features uh, for such an affordable price, $36 today for the wise smart body scale. All right, what's next? The bomb lights? The smart light bulbs. I haven't Oof. seen these guys in a while. Yeah, we talk about them almost once a week, well, I guess. I mean, I don't, I'm not here. I know, to... I know it. I know it. I wish you were. <laughs> All right, so these are the Vaughn Smart Bulbs. We're going to get into these right now. The box is open. Today, these are two bulbs that are available for $18. They have a four-star rating with uh, 5,100 reviews. And this is all you get in the box, okay? You get the smart bulbs. You get them. They're designed for indoors. They're also made of plastic, so they are shatterproof bulbs. You connect these to the Vaunt app, which, again, is a free app. And then once you sign up an account, you can start controlling these bulbs. Uh, you can put different solid colors on them. Also, the Vaunt app uh, uh, has some patterns that you can also use to increase mm -hmm. the lighting yeah. mood in the room okay one thing that i don't like about the bomb bulbs is that they sell me a two-pack for 18 dollars, but i have to pair them individually and then i can't get that blinking to the like any type of blinking pattern i can assign blinking pattern number two i can put it on each bulb individually but i can't get them to sync up and mm -hmm. play those two um yeah. uh to sink i can't get yeah, them to sink yeah. so yeah. that i dislike but once i realized that that's just one limitation i mean you could put these in any side yeah. apart yeah. from each other yeah. control them uh and have them blink different things in right. different parts of the room i guess these von smart bulbs are not designed for outdoor use and they are available today for 17.99 and when we click through our carousel we learned that they also have a 25% off coupon. All right. So always great deals on Bond products, I feel, when we take a closer look. And, uh, yeah, whatever 25% of 18 is, hit me. Just under 5 bucks. That's pretty good. Yeah, I think so, too. All right. So now I don't have to get up for this one. Okay. So now what we have highlighted here is my wireless uh, Logitech K400 keyboard. Now, I know. I know what this dirty boy looks like with all of its shininess. Well, you can see where your fingers are always That's on. right. On my space bar, <laughs> on my mouse pad, uh, on my home row. You've had that for a long time. I've had this keyboard for many, many, many years. And there's a reason that you can still get one from Logitech. And that's because it is awesome. And I'm talking about this one that I'm holding up. This is the Logitech wireless keyboard model K400, okay? With the K400, it's 7% off today. Normally, this is 30 bucks. You can save $2 today. Scoop this up for $28. Let me click through the carousel now and see if there's another deal here that I don't know about. No, no other deals. But still, $28 for this keyboard. Dude, this thing has some flex to it which is not the hottest, you know what I'm saying? 
But dude, like, I love this thing. I've used it every day forever. I've used this every day forever since the beginning of existence existed. I've been using, I mean, that's a little bit far fetched, but I have been using the keyboard for a very, very long time. And, um, uh, hey, you can tell. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. And that is just like a patina of quality. Okay. <laughs> because I, I've used this through laptops and PCs and taken it places and done things with it. It operates on two AAA batteries. I use non-rechargeable batteries in this, and they'll last for months and months and months. Uh, it comes with a little keyboard. Dong I was scratching my face, and I was not giving the follow me gesture. It's got a little Bluetooth dongle that uh, connects for the device uh, to function, so it's not Bluetooth. It does have its own little – well, I don't know if it's Bluetooth or not, but it has its own proprietary dongle, so I don't know. I don't know if it's Bluetooth or not. I love this. I love my K400. They make a K400 Plus, and it's just slightly different. It's an upgraded version, but uh, I like it less. There's some layout features on the K400 Plus that just, they're not my bag, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, uh, it does have uh, some keys at the top here that, in the K400 Plus, I'll just talk it, I'll talk to you about it. So in the K400, mm -hmm. there's these multimedia buttons here, mm -hmm. as well as a PC locking button. And your volume controls and everything are here, right? right. On your function keys. Yeah. So what they did with the K400 Plus was they removed this row of multimedia keys and they took these functions. And they put them down here where the volume is located on this row of function keys. Mm -hmm. And then they took these buttons and they put them above the mouse pad, the trackpad. Yeah. yeah. And they made it a, a volume control, two volume up and down and a mute button. So I thought that that was pretty cool. But then it is a mini keyboard, obviously, but you get full sized up and down buttons yep. here. And uh, with the K400 plus the newer model they actually give you a longer shift button that is two buttons yeah. long and then they cut this down button in half mm -hmm. and they give you small up and down buttons here I don't, I don't i don't need that i don't need none of that uh you know uh my friend who comes to help me with the computer yeah. he has the k400 plus and he's like i i got it because of you man I got it because you got that one, man. <laughs> and I was like, I bet you did, homie. So the K400 by Logitech is actually a super dope uh, wireless keyboard. I use it for everything. Um, everything. I use it for everything. If I can plug this into something, this is going to be my preferred keyboard. I rarely, rarely use the keyboard on the laptop. Um, and furthermore, because sometimes I might... Uh, use um, sometimes I will eat food and then use my keyboard and not wash my hands. Okay. I'll just say that to you. Uh, so I feel a lot better like destroying this in that way than I would in like getting a bunch of crumbs in the laptop keyboard. Uh, and this thing is a workhorse. Like I said, I've had it for many, many years. Mm -hmm. I like this thing a lot. Uh, okay, once again, then wrapping up, the K400 wireless keyboard is available for $27.99 today. So $28, and that's 7% off its $30 MSRP. So if you're looking for the new model of this specific board, uh, it's the K400 Plus. And then one, one more thing that I want to say that sets apart the K400 from the Plus is that the function keys... On this keyboard, okay, the function key, okay, is blue. And then everything, all my upper row of function buttons, as well as whatever, control and, and my power, my, my directional buttons, anything that has an alternate function uh, is in blue as well. Is in blue as well. On the KB400 Plus, no. It's like gray, mm. you know? So whatever. I like the, I like the blue on this. Yeah. All right, that's enough about a keyboard. $28 today for this sweet piece of tech. <laughs> All right, let's move on. We'll talk quickly about this bad boy, too. We got a lot of bad boys today. 
Where is this bad boy? Oh, here it is. I don't know. Ugh. We should have spaced out your products a little bit. I've had to, you talk about all of them at the top of the show. I feel like you've been a little quiet okay. about products. I'm okay. I'm just a little tired. I got you. All right, so now we're going to talk about the PS Vita, and this is PlayStation's last official handheld console that was released to the public. Uh, they stopped making them. I, I think they stopped supporting them in, like, 2019. So that just, just happened, like, I guess a couple years ago now. Uh, the PS Vita first gen 1000 model is available today for purchase for $244, $245. And this is going to be through the Amazon refurb store. So you're not buying these new, you're not buying these new. And I don't think it's going to come in this box when you get it. This is some OG, this is some OG box. You know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. What I love about the PS Vita first gen is that it has this beautiful, OLED screen that just wasn't replicated in further iterations of this console. When they released the 2000 and whatever, uh, the second gen version, they put in an LED screen and the blacks just weren't as black. The colors were like, like faded and they don't look as good as the OLED screen. But with the 2000 model, there were a few more features that uh, were available like TV out and some other stuff. Uh, why do we talk about this old console on Clown Live lately? Because they're available on Amazon to buy, that's why. And also, I decided to put it in the carousel because these have been jailbroken wide open. With firmwares, official firmware that runs on this PS Vita from Sony, I think you had to be sub version 4. Sub version 4. And I think that they were over version 5 on... Uh, on the um, on the official firmwares for the PS Vita. And so if you upgraded to a firmware that was over like 3.62, I think it was, then you were out of luck. You were out of luck and you were unable to mod the device or roll it back to attempt to mod it. Now, any firmware can be jailbroken on a PS Vita by simply turning it on, connecting to a Wi-Fi connection, and navigating to a website to, to, uh, to do that jailbreak. So that's really cool. When you click through the carousel today and add a PS Vita to your cart, make sure that you scroll down a little bit and check out what other people also buy, because I guarantee they recommend to you that you get an SD to Vita, and it's just a little memory card adapter for the Vita that you can put a micro SD card slot in. So get a get an SD to Vita, get a half a terabyte micro SD card or whatever you want, plug it in, mod your Vita, get all the Vita games that you want, get all of the old classic games. This will emulate consoles, all like all the old school stuff, right? And then newer old school stuff. This will do PS1 games flawlessly. And I think it has a good PS2 a good Nintendo 64 emulator as well. And I believe that there is Nintendo DS emulation support for the PS Vita as well in regard to jailbroken devices. It has an OLED screen. It's an OLED touch screen. It's got dual analog sticks, four face buttons, four directional buttons. It's got two triggers and a touchpad on the back. Pretty, pretty sweet device, mm -hmm. uh, especially when I know that I can jailbreak it and put everything on it. The PS Vita is available today for $245. Do they ever do coupons on Amazon refurb stuff? I don't know. Let's click on this. Oh, we put the NOCO in there? I guess I didn't notice. No. No coupon. No coupon. Okay, let's close all these things. We don't need any of this open. And then let's move on to our next product now. It's going to be the NOCO Genius. I guess I forgot to grab it. I'll grab it. We have so many boxes. Oh, lots. <laughs> I said lots. Where is this device? Here, can you put this on the table, yeah. please? I didn't expect to talk about this device. I'm trying to it's not on the table there. 
maybe on the couch, like the recliner. He's just looking for it. He'll be right back. <laughs> oh. Things are falling. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. I didn't realize that this was in my carousel today. I guess I forgot. After. No. No, it's not missing. It's not in this list, oh, but it is added to the thing. Okay, no problem. All right, so this is it then. Sorry about that. I just uh, didn't have it in my product list here. Uh, okay, one second. All right, okay, so this is the Noco Genius 2x2 battery charger. It's IP6X water resistant, and it's a four amp battery charger that is two two amp battery charging banks built into one super solid device. This is great for charging 12 volt lithium or AGM or lead acid batteries. You can also charge six volt batteries with this. It also features a reconditioning mode so that you can have, if the NOCO determines that there are zero volts in your battery, you can force a charge into a dead battery. And if the genius even detects a single volt, then it will begin to attempt a reconditioning phase uh, uh, mode on that battery. Uh, results vary with that, and yours obviously will vary. Uh, I love this thing. We use it for the scooters. It's good for the truck and the car as well. You can mount this to the wall. It comes with these alligator clips, and the alligator clips have these little screws on them that you can remove. And then when you take off the alligator clips, you have these little eyelets that you can more permanently attach to your battery, okay? Um, and the 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 throw the length of the of the alligator clips is very short uh so that you can have that more permanent installation of those cables and then wrapped up in all of this is short cables as well as a 10 foot length of uh extension cords so you get two sets of alligator clips as well as uh two 10 foot extension cords uh, one for each bank with the Noco Genius 2x2. Two two. This is available today for $100 and has just under 2,800 reviews for a four and a half star average rating. I love this thing. Yeah. It's uh, We've charged your car with it for sure. I'm pretty sure I've put this on my truck at least once. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been an extremely mild, not deep freezing winter. So while I've certainly made the mistake of allowing the batteries to die in the scooters, mm -hmm. um, they haven't deep frozen or gotten damaged, I'm going to assume. Yeah. So hopefully the batteries didn't split. Hopefully they won't need to be replaced. And hopefully these dead batteries will easily charge or recondition in the spring. Feeling a little tired, Boot? It's almost time to be finished today's show. We got just two products left, and I need you to talk about one of them, okay? So, okay, so the Noco Genius then is available today for $100. Mima's feeling a little sleepy. We're almost done today's show. It's 7 o'clock right now. So let's wrap up our last two products. And, uh, yeah, Noco, though, it do, they do make some really, really great products, okay? So if you uh, – you looking at yourself, Booty? What do you want me to do? <laughs> nothing, nothing. I just, okay. I'm just uh, looking at the monitor. Do we look good? I guess so. Okay. Uh, Noco Genius is available for $100 today. This boy don't go on sale too often. So uh, if you're looking for a great product that doesn't go on sale often, Noco Genius is certainly one worth considering. When you click through the carousel today and navigate to the Noco store, you'll see they offer more than just this two bank, four amp battery charger. They have several different types of battery chargers as well as battery boosters and more durable, uh, tough cables. Okay. That's it. Okay, so you want to talk about the tablet? Yeah. Do you want to get it? Let me see. I forgot to bring it over. This is my tablet. 
Um, it's it's great because it's nice and big, and I can see better. Rather better than, than the phone. Yeah, and uh, it's got your volume control up here, and then you can plug in. This is where you turn it on, turn it off, and then your headsets can go up here. Now, all the buttons on the device are located at the, at yeah, the, top, the top like that. Yeah. yeah, and where you plug it in to charge it, right here, everything's up top. That's USB-C to charge? Yes. The Amazon tablet is available today for $150 and oh features a 10.1-inch screen and has the ability in the case that is not included to be set in landscape you or might, portrait mode. You might have to highlight it. It is highlighted. That's hey, not, I have you. Uh, that's not have highlighted. You. What do you mean? The tablet? Yeah. That's the. That's what not a, the tablet. That's the. The. Uh, oh, maybe I'm looking at the wrong thing. Sorry. What okay. do you think you're looking at? I thought I was looking at the your the device the. Um, the Vita? The Vita. No, no. I was looking. looking okay. Sorry. No problem. The Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet does come in a professional model. And the only difference between the two models is, I believe, is just an extra gigabyte of RAM and a metal back on the Pro model. With the 1080, uh, with the with the Amazon Fire HD 10 tablet that Amazon. Nima has here, you get a camera on the front and a camera on the back as well. And um, that 10-inch screen, 3 gigabytes of RAM, plastic back. Amazon App Store is included, but it makes it very easy in the settings to go to – here, we'll go up a bit. Yeah. Uh, very easy Super. in the settings to go and, and allow the installation of third-party apps. So you can sideload the Google Play Store in here and really unlock more – fully robust functionality to make it feel like a traditional tablet. Mima hasn't really had a, have you had any problems? No. Is there anything on the tablet? You've had it now since December. And is there anything on like. The only thing that it did one time that I recall is that I couldn't get out of like, um, like the, you know, it has the arrow, the circle and the square. Yeah. I could not get out of whatever I was on. So I think it's because it's never. Just froze never, up. Yeah. But other than that, I don't have any really. How long does the battery say, usually last in that thing before well, you got to charge it? A few days. A few days. Yeah. Okay. I don't use it like, you know, it's just at night when I come home. I'd say Mima uses the, the tablet for at least two to three hours. Like on average, yeah. it would be more days, some days more, some days less. But yeah, it's, uh, it's good. Oh, let's try. Oh, hey, Anchor Adam's in the chat one minute ago. I hope uh, you're still here watching the show, Adam. You know, I just kind of had the chat behind me here as we were winding down things. Yo, welcome. How is China? You know, China is a place that I would love to go to someday. Uh, I'd love to go to Shenzhen uh, a lot. I think about it pretty often. And uh, I know that they have this massive, massive mall in China that is like all electronics in Shenzhen. Uh, and I really, really would like to go to it and just... Get in the candy store? Yeah. I just got here. Sweet. Well, uh, you just got to China or you just got to this stream? Seems like maybe applicable for both statements. But I'm glad to see you here now today hanging out with us. Um, we just did this little pop-up stream. My lovely wife, Mima, it's, uh, I'll spell it for you in the chat. Uh, oh, you're at that mall right now. You're at that mall right now. Oh, China. China is a little more understandable. Yeah. Shenzhen, uh, seems like the right place to be. Seems like a plethora of nerdiness there uh, <laughs> by way of this massive mall. Let me see if I can find the name of the mall real quick. Uh, is it the is it Seg Electronics Market? I don't know. I think it's Seg. 
It's been a while since I talked about it. Oh, here. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, I'm so poor at pronouncing uh, Chinese words, but it is, I, I believe it's Hakuang B. Hakuang B, the biggest electronics market in the world in Shenzhen. Um, yeah, I would love to figure that out someday. That sounds really cool. Going to the anchor office today in Shenzhen. Yo, that's really cool. Um, sm uh, Smiler with a hidden dagger. Uh, hot wing beef. Uh, sorry, no, I don't know. I don't mean to. Uh, I don't mean to say the wrong things. I, I can only copy and paste it in the chat because uh, I I don't speak any Chinese at all. So I hope that if you do, you're not taken aback by my poor pronunciation of the word but uh this is the place this is the place here so uh i just put the name in the chat i'm not sure how to phonetically pronounce it and i apologize for that but yeah i hope that you're having a great time thank you for popping in here on clown live uh adam anchor i hope that you have a great time at anchor headquarters today and uh uh send some pictures post some pictures somewhere of some like top secret stuff, okay? Because I'm always, always interested in what Anchor's got going on, especially when it comes to audio. You must be doing something important if you had to go to China. So thank you, Adam, for joining us today. We're just wrapping up right now, talking about the Amazon HD10 tablet. Mima loves it. Uh, we got it for her during Prime Ax early Prime Access deals. It was 50% off. And the most that I've seen it be on sale since that day was i think i've seen it for 50 percent off again uh and then one time i saw it for 48 uh, 42 percent off i'm like no i'm waiting for 50 percent for another buy uh so we're definitely going to get another amazon fire hd10 tablet i encourage you if you haven't got one and you're looking for a tablet to do the same when these go on sale mm -hmm. when these go on sale for 150 bucks eh, you know whatever mm -hmm. but for 75 dollars, super super great deal and uh, they're great for people like Mima, who isn't uh, the most I'm not, uh, technologically yeah. advanced. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I mean, I'm not. Like, I, I can use it pretty good. I put it in the chat. It was. Watch him by. Okay. I got you, Adam. I, I, I believe you fully, Adam, because uh, you're literally in China, so I get it. Watch him buy. The biggest electronics mall. It's, like, huge. It's a massive place. It's got, like, so many stories, and it's this big, yeah, massive place. I think it good. takes, like, a couple days. Uh, there was a – there was uh, – watch him buy. Uh, there was a – there's this great YouTuber. His name is um, Strange Parts. And he used to make a lot of great content about iPhones. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then one time, Linus Tech Tips, who is a very popular, probably arguably one of the most popular computer content creators mm -hmm. on YouTube, um, is a Canadian content creator who went with Strange Parts to Shenzhen to the mall. And uh, yeah, that was a really good watch. That's an old video from a couple mm -hmm. years ago, but a really good watch. All right. Bye, Adam. Thanks so much for popping out here. I really, really love it when you take the opportunity to come and see us here on Clown Live. And uh, and don't forget to check out Anchor Adam. Uh, I think he's still doing shows every Tuesday. I don't know if they're on hiatus while he's in China, but always be sure to keep your eyes open for an Anchor stream on a Tuesday night with our friend Adam. Thank you, Adam, for joining us. And with that, let me wrap up Amazon Fire HD10 tablet. $150 today with a four and a half star average rating with over with just under 105,000 reviews. So that's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of reviews. Um, nice matching t-shirts. Are you a couple? Yeah, a couple gangsters. <laughs> <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. This is my wife. Okay. So let's move on now to the last product of the day. And it's going to be the Obsbot tiny 4k PTZ. The one now, that keeps moving. Yeah. Now that's what this bad boy here is. Let's move down a little bit. And, uh, let's pop this back here like this. Let's pop this one over. 
All right, the Obsbot Tiny 4K PTZ webcam is available today for $269. I think they just went through a uh, a sale, so I don't think there's a coupon. Oh, $20 coupon. Oh, $20 coupon. So $250 today for this webcam that we're talking about here. And uh, um, I love this webcam. I use it every day when we do streaming here on Clown Live here on Shopping Dragons. Uh, it's okay, little bitty. We're I'm almost sorry. done. Okay, it's all right. Um, so yeah, the camera's great. It's got a 4K resolution. It pans. It pans. It tilts and it zooms. Uh, all based on gesture controls. So if I hold my hand up like I'm waving, oh, there it goes. camera will track me <laughs> and it'll follow me around the room, whether I'm standing or walking around. Oh, it's following me, now. Or whether I'm crouching in the room as well. There it goes. Boom. There you go. The there you uh, go. the uh, the Obsbot Tiny 4K tracks you around the room. It also offers you the ability to zoom. Okay. Out of the box with a non-firmware upgrade by default, the Obsbot Tiny 4K PTZ will zoom up to two times digitally. After you do the firmware upgrade and get the Obsbot software to control the camera, you can change that default up to four times digital zoom that's what we're experiencing here right now with each other it's either three and a half or four times digital zoom uh occurring currently simply hold up an l shape with your finger to zoom out and yeah super super cool feature uh i love this camera a lot sorry it's got a um it's got a uh, uh a magnetic base that has a tripod mount and connects via a usb c cable And um, it's a great camera. I'm ready to wrap up today's show because I see my lovely wife is feeling a little sleepy. So I'm just feeling a little distracted. But the camera's great. Down. Listen, let me tell you something. We've been been talking about the Obsbot Tiny 4K PTZ since the very beginning. Okay. Since the beginning of Clown Live uh We've been talking about the Obsbot, so we don't need to go into it super deep today, but it is a really phenomenal webcam that is available for $270 with a $20 off coupon today. So scoop this up for $249 today. Uh, if that price point is a little bit out of your budget and you're still looking for a camera that might follow you, then consider clicking through the carousel, okay? Navigate to the Obsbot store and find the PTZ, the Obsbot Tiny PTZ in a 1080p resolution. I think it's around $100 cheaper than, uh, than a full priced uh, Obsbot Tiny 4K PTZ. It's an amazing webcam. We use it every day. Uh, I use it every day. Maybe not on the weekends. You know, you use it for work. I use it for Amazon every single day. It's my main camera for Amazon. I love it a lot. Now, I'm thinking about getting a new camera for Amazon, but it doesn't follow you around the room. So I don't know if that's what I want or not right now. Uh, do I... Do I increase potential quality of the stream or do I keep the quality of the camera where it's at because I have these amazing features that follow me ab uh, about, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's difficult to, it's difficult to discern what, uh, what influences me the most to make a decision. Uh, right now, I've got to say that it's the tracking me that that is really, really sweet. But I know that we can make the show look even better with a camera like, say, a Sony ZV-1, right? So trying to figure out if we upgrade cameras or do we just stay where we're at? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm-hmm. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But there is the opportunity to maybe look a little bit sharper. But when it, when 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 uh, when Amazon is downscaling everything though to 720p, what is it? Uh, you know what I mean? All right, we are done today's show. Once again, as we wrap up, I want to remind you that the Obsbot Tiny PTZ 4K is available today for two hundred and sixty nine dollars. And when you click through the carousel. Don't forget to add that $20 coupon life, okay? All right, let's read a couple of comments here, and then we're going to wrap up today's show. Okay, so Adam, five minutes ago, thank you for joining us today. Joanna as well, thank you for joining us. Uh, Hidden Dagger, thank you for joining us. Um, 
Margaret, I appreciate you. Everybody that come out today to hang with us. Those are everybody that came to chill. Uh, okay, let's try. Mima looks so happy. Amazon live chat can be entertaining. That's definitely a better smile. <laughs> That's you. They're talking about you smiling. Thank you. I think it's couch time. Have a great night. Yeah, the couch is right <laughs> behind us. We're ready to go get onto it right now, I think. I got to cook dinner. <laughs> I got to I gotta clean up the uh, the show. But I think that's probably it for this fun little Sunday yeah. weekend stream. Is there anything that you would like to say before we end today's show? Everybody have a nice Sunday night. I agree. Have a nice Sunday night. Okay. Have a great night, Blake and Mima, says Margaret. Joanna you says do. we appreciate you streaming. See you soon, says Joanna. Yeah, absolutely. As always, as we wrap up here, don't forget Clown Live, hosted by me, your host, Dragon Blaker, a.k.a. Blake, is happening every weekday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that's right, baby, right over here. <laughs> uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekday on, clown, on, on Shopping Dragons. You can find me. So that's it. Thank you, everybody. Whoop, whoop. Much clown love. And we Bye -bye. will catch you all. I will catch you all tomorrow. Mima, thank you for joining me. Thank You're you for wonderful. Having me. You did a great job today. No, okay. I didn't do too bad. You want to end the stream? Hit the big pink button. All right. We'll see you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye. All right, and if you're still watching on Twitch or YouTube, thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.